is the smart meters where the government wants to control your thermostat and all the new appliances by law. Uh, what is it, about 2014 or is it 2015? You can pull it up. Um, and, and it's already rolling out that your dishwasher, your clothes washer, your your refrigerator, your thermostat, everything has chips in them where the government doesn't need to have a wireless box on the pole and then they control your thermostat from that. That's the old technology they're already putting in place. This is data transfer down power lines. And they can transfer data and it goes into the chip and then monitors everything going on in that appliance. This isn't coming. This is here. So all products will have RFID chips tracking everywhere you go and what you do. There's been a big backlash. They plan to have this in place in 2004. The Pentagon's on record uh, running the program. Uh, and they describe it as a total surveillance grid where everything going on in the third dimension, that's the dimension we live in. Cyberspace is its own dimension, uh, its own ar artificial uh, you know, dimension within cyberspace, within the silicon, uh, the silicon. But th this is described by MIT and the Pentagon as smart dust, and everything will have chips embedded in it, and so they can track the real world with the NSA Google-type software. And that's what Google is. It's NSA software given to the front company through NQTEL and the CIA. We told you that seven years ago. It was declassified last year that they are a complete government operation. Yeah, don't be evil, Google. See, I said I'd just cover all the news here. I've probably got 200 articles, just literally, I mean, 200 or more. Uh, in fact, give me a document cam shot, just of the wide shot of all this news just today. People don't understand the frustration uh, for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. Uh, so uh, that's what you need to know about that one article. Okay, uh, here is another one. Uh, no soup for you. Michael Bloomberg targets salt sellers, Mayor Bloomberg's latest health campaign, cutting salt intake. And he's using taxpayer money to run ads and billboards and radio and TV ads saying how evil salt is. The truth is a lot of studies actually show that if you exercise and drink a lot of water, you actually need salt. You know, uh, people have asked me in Texas who are from up north, they say, why when you go to a 7-Eleven or any other convenience store do you see big piles of little salt packets? And why will you see the migrant workers in there after a hard day's work just soaked in sweat, dumping packets of flavored salt into, into water or into beer? Well, it's because they need it. If you ever go work on a golf course all day like I've done back in college, you will literally want to eat salt. Um, but no, if you're not exercising a lot, then, then no, you don't need the salt. The point is... You've heard them come out and say, well, they've already passed the law uh, in San Francisco, no toys and Happy Meals. The government says what type of toilets you can have. The government says what type of uh, light bulbs you can have, what type of refrigerator, what type of appliance, what type of cell phone. And now it's what type of food. And, and this is the global model to then monitor everything you do. They socialize health care. Then they say, well, your unhealthy lifestyle is costing me money in the socialist collectivist system so we have a right to tell you what you can and can't do and you got the cps taking people's children who are obese but notice there's no discussion about bisphenol a in most plastic products admittedly in the major studies causing all sorts of endocrine hormone problems in youth and causing them to become obese or to give them cancer or to cause delayed uh, fertility puberty in males and accelerated fertility in girls and every time I talk about this, morons send me emails and say I'm lying. I mean, it's literally hundreds of news articles every month. This is now broken through to the mainstream, and it's admitted. In major states, what, now four states have banned it? You go to Target, you can hardly buy plastic wear now. It's almost all glass, because people know. But on average, a higher education level, certainly not wealthy people, but... Uh, you know, Walmart's very blue collar, and, and, and Target has a higher demographic. And then, you know, the average yuppies finally figure this out. Fifteen years after myself and others warned you, there were scientists 50 years ago when they adopted this warning people, but they get laughed at. Okay, I've covered two articles here, but the government could care less about telling you that Gardasil vaccines are killing people and maiming them, or that H1N1's deadly or filled with mercury, uh, or that GMO food in every major study, because it's designed to do that. It's not accidentally every corn, every maize, every 
every soybean crop, it, you know, just so happens to, to sterilize you and cause organ failure. It's designed like that. And we have the Rockefeller Foundation documents on it. We've covered them here. We've posted them on the websites. See, they don't care about all the real things that are screwing people up. You don't hear the government trying to restrict corn syrup, do you? On record, shutting down your pancreas. Highly toxic. Or the fact that they use toxic fertilizer on most of the food crops, and the crops then bioaccumulate lead, mercury, arsenic. That's admitted. What's the headline? Half of corn syrup products have high levels of lead and mercury. Washington Post. See, they don't really care. They just want to act like they care and use that as an excuse to monitor and control your life while they're the ones killing us. See? Okay, I covered two articles. We'll try to cover more. In a coming apart world, you need something to keep it tied together. That something is Atwood Rope, the highest quality rope made in the USA from exotic braids for military, rescue, arborists, shipyards, tow line, or boating. Quality rope at affordable prices you and your customers can depend on. Find a dealer or shop online at atwoodrope.net. Enter promo code RADIO to receive 100 feet of 550 paracord free with purchase. Atwood Rope, working to keep the world tied together. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Pure water. What could be better than the gift of health for your loved ones? And who better to help you give the gift this holiday season than BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com? If those on your gift list are drinking or bathing in unfiltered city or well water, chances are that water is contaminated with rust, bacteria, chlorine, and fluoride. For just pennies a day, Berkey Water Filters remove dangerous contaminants from both well and city water, is powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water, and is great for camping and emergencies. Right now, GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filters filter systems and free shipping on orders over $50. Purchase any filter system from BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com to get your choice of Berkey Sport Bottles, a KDF shower filter, a set of fluoride filters, or the new Sight Glass Spigot absolutely free. Visit BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com or call 877-99-BERKEY today. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Give the gift of health at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com today. Monday through 
Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Many days we go into the fourth hour overdrive to 3 p.m. Central. Back Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. Thank you for joining us. So finishing up with uh, the fact that New York's already tried to pass laws saying that they will give them multi-thousand dollar fines at restaurants if they, quote, oversalt food. And this is about the image and the message that government is your God, your mommy, your daddy. It's going to tell you what to do and take good care of you so that people have this image of government as caring about us. Uh, when they're using DU in the wars that are killing the troops, not just the enemies, uh, when they're you're constantly getting caught running secret programs, injecting people with syphilis, uh, with uh, hepatitis, with HIV, uh, with polio, but oh, 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 but we, we don't want you to have salt. We don't want you to have salt. And later I'm getting back into the big developments on the naked body scanner TSA front. It's the same thing there. You got a better chance of being struck by lightning, literally twice in one year, uh, than you do of dying in terrorism. I mean, you got 20, what is it, 9,000 dead now in the last two years on the U.S.-Mexican border? But that's kind of on the back burner. That's not a problem. You know, that's a higher death rate per year than what Vietnam had. Vietnam over, what, 10 years, 64 to 74, was 58,000. Oh, but out of sight, out of mind, no, no, it's terrorist. And now they're banning mailing printer cartridges added to the huge list. So it's this perception management where things that do matter, they just put on the back burner. But things that don't matter, oh, we want to protect you. We're doing all of this to protect you. Continuing, a scientist find dramatic damage to marine life near BP spill site. Yeah, and the government's told us the seafood's safe now for four months, even though all the private universities and others have openly been threatened. That's come out in mainstream news. When they just study shrimp and, and, and fish just filled with the core exit and other chemicals, the, the, the different dioxins, the, the, the different uh, things that are in the crude oil, and they're told, just don't worry about it. And remember Obama said, hey, core exits, no problem. There's no health problems. Remember he said that three times. Don't, don't worry. Then they said, oh, the Gulf spill's been cleaned up. Out of sight, out of mind. That's CNN. Uh, continuing with bizarre news, the Australian Barack Obama joined Muslim prayers at school, teacher says. And it goes on to say, as a schoolboy in Jakarta, Barack Obama attended Muslim prayer sessions with his classmates against the wishes of his mother. Well, we know he was in a Muslim school in Jakarta. We know he had the name Barry Sotero. We know he gave up his citizenship. If he is a Muslim, that, I'm not, that's not bad. I'm not saying Muslims are bad. The point is, this guy did give up his citizenship, and that disqualifies him right there. So that's out of the Australian. Uh, another report here. Illegals made Democrat governor in Connecticut, World Net Daily. Sanctuary City issued thousands of IDs accepted for voter registration. Well, that's what happened in Arizona with the sanctuary cities of Tucson and Arizona. Uh, they're not officially sanctuary, but they are. And the federal court ruled, yeah, they don't, they don't need to be proved their citizens to vote. So yeah, interesting uh, report on that front. And continuing with India, since Obama's over there, he's about to go to the G20 in South Korea and Seoul. Harley Davidson to build bikes in uh, India. Remember Harley Davidson a decade or so ago said, buy Harley, buy Harley. You know, it's the only American-made motorcycle. And everybody went out and bought them. And for motorcyclists I talked to, they're not very good bikes. They look good, sound good, but they have a, you know, a lot of problems. And uh, But there they go to India. and uh, Just the way it is, I guess. As long as they talk about how it's made in America, I guess uh, everything's supposedly okay. So there, I, I went through, what, eight different stories uh, on that front. Uh, when we come back, I'm going to get into the huge developments on the TSA takeover of society. It's not just here in the U.S. They all have the similar systems worldwide. This is a global corporate model and mode of control to train everybody to be slaves. Uh, I'm going to get into that.